What's up, YouTube? Gus Farborough back with another one. Yeah, I just read an article, interesting article about down in Atlanta, Mayor Kasim Reed firing uh, fire chief, a, a, a bl actually a black man, Democratic man, firing uh, a black fire chief who been on the job I think about five years, five plus years, because of his Christian beliefs. Now, question for you, black people. Uh, 80 to 85 percent of black people in America say that they're that they're Christians and they believe in Jesus Christ and the Bible and all, and all of that stuff. I'm not a religious guy, but just saying, most of us black people say that we're Christians. So how could you sit back and watch <laughs> and allow? I don't even hear an uproar, but but watch this black Democratic man. The, the party you people vote for 90 to 95 percent in every freaking election but anyway how could you allow you know first of all you vote for these people they believe in gay marriage abortion everything unholy that you say you believe in but that's another video but you got a black mayor Kasim Reed who has fired a black fire chief down in Atlanta because of his Christian beliefs you can't make this shit up, people, man. Gus Fiberro, man, check the video, man. A church organization representing more than a million worshipers says Mayor Kasim Reed made the wrong call when he fired Fire Chief Kelvin Cochran. Now, the chief wrote a religious-themed book which includes controversial passages about homosexuality being, quote, unclean. While Fox Rise More Stakes tells us that the fallout over the dismissal continues tonight, he's live at City Hall with the latest on that fallout. More Russ, the Georgia Baptist Convention has some 3,600 churches as part of its membership. Now, workers have been emailing and contacting Mayor Reed, even at home, he says, over the phone. Now, the GBC says it is not going to back down or back away from its support of the former chief. I have a living faith in Jesus Christ. It is a love for all people without condition. Before he became embroiled in a battle with his boss, Mayor Kasim Reed, chances are many of you couldn't even say the name of the fire chief of Atlanta, Kelvin Cochran. Hartwell Georgia's Mike Griffin, whose organization, the Georgia Baptist Convention, with 1.4 million worshipers, is taking notice of what happened to the chief. The mayor fired Cochran on Tuesday, the fallout from the chief's book, Who Told You You Were Naked? The writing including brief references to homosexuality not being clean or in keeping with what faithful Christians believe. And if he is going to be treated this way and no one says anything about it or it's not reversed, then it could be me tomorrow. So let's stop trying to make this about religious freedom when it's about making sure that we have an environment in government where everyone, no matter who they love, can come to work. Reed, who'd earlier suspended Cochran, clearly had had enough, saying Cochran showed poor judgment by not running the idea of the book by him first. Griffin called on Baptists to keep the pressure on Reed, who blamed the chief for what Reed believes is an overreaction. Critics, he said, even called him at home, some even calling him, quote, the Antichrist. Be respectful, says Griffin, but be strong in a condemnation of the Cochrane firing. For citizens to communicate in a very respectful way um, and allow their concerns to be made known. An official with the Anti-Defamation League agrees with the decision made by the mayor. But once you're in a position of authority like he is to publish a, a book and, ha and distribute it within the department, created, a, a, we believe, a, an environment that made it in, impossible for him to continue in that position. As his service uh, to the community, that would indicate that he ever did anything that was not just or fair or honest. He would give his very life for any person, regardless of their sexual orientation. Now, the Georgia Baptist Convention appeals to Mayor Reed to reconsider that firing. Sources here at City Hall tell me that is not going to happen. Reporting live from downtown Atlanta, I'm Morse Diggs, Fox 5 News. Thank you, Morse. Also developed.